Welcome back to our Tips for Tuesday for this week and for the next couple of weeks we're going to go over uh, planes of human motion and how to train the different planes of human motion. So in the CrossFit or functional fitness world, we get pretty tied up in uh, unilateral training. Sometimes we'll get into some bilateral stuff, um, but there are three planes of human motion and when we're training functional fitness, uh, we need to make sure that we're uh, training all three planes of human motion. So what are those planes of human motion? Okay, the first one is what's known as the sagittal plane. Okay, so think of this. All right, so forward and backwards, basically. All right, so if I'm walking forward and I'm walking backwards or running forward, jogging backwards, that would be the sagittal plane. Some exercises that are associated with the sagittal plane are things like um, forward lunging, squatting, step ups, all right, forward step ups. That would be sagittal uh, training. So predominantly a lot of the stuff in the CrossFit world is going to be sagittal plane. The second plane of human motion is what's known as the frontal plane. Okay, and that'll look something like this. So that's side to side stuff or lateral stuff, so right to left stuff. So things in terms of exercises that might be examples of the frontal plane are like dumbbell lat raises, lateral lunges, lateral step ups, uh, lateral jogging or side stepping, okay, things of that nature, that's going to be our frontal plane. Okay, and the one that is commonly ignored in terms of training, but in terms of daily life, all right, what's used in daily life is what's known as the transverse plane. All right, and that's, that's our rotational plane. Okay, so that'll look something like this, right? So anything that involves twisting, turning, okay, and then using a rotary type of movement, that's going to be transverse plane. And just so we're clear uh, on what these are, this is going to be um, forward, backward, and again, this one is going to be side to side. Okay, those are our three planes of human motion. Um, so what we're going to show is an example of what a transverse exercise looks like. All right, so we're going to come over here and bring it over to our box. So step up. All right, so this is just called a crossover step up. So Brett's going to show us with a dumbbell version and then also a barbell version of what a transverse plane would look like. Okay, so he's going to cross over with his right, step up, and then he's going to take that right leg and cross over behind him to step down. All right, so he's going to do it again now with the left leg. Left leg crosses over. Left leg goes behind, all right? We're going to do it one more time each way with the dumbbell. So again, right leg up, cross over, right leg behind, cross over. Okay, and then again to the other side, left leg up, cross over in front, and then cross over in back. Okay, so just remember you're going cross over in front, then cross over in back. All right, that's with the dumbbell version. Once you're able to master that, you got good balance and technique, all right? You can up the game a little bit with a barbell and then add load to the barbell if you want to. Same thing. Okay, so he's going to cross over in front with the right, cross over in back with the right. Okay, again with the left, cross over in front with the left, cross over in back with the left. Good, that's good. You can go ahead and set that down, Brett. Okay, so that's an example of a transverse plane exercise, right, as opposed to if I'm doing step up sagittal, okay, forward and back, that would be up and up like that, right? And then our frontal plane would be a lateral step up, up and up like that. That would be sagittal plane. Uh, I'm sorry, frontal plane. So transverse plane is using that crossover step. All right, so that's what we're going to cover this week is transverse planning, uh, training for the lower extremity with the crossover step up. Next week, we'll show you a couple upper body exercises. Till next week, see you then.